BD-5 pilot with you, but uh, I'm not at the uh, Hillsboro hangar. I'm actually at another hangar out in Dallas, Texas. And look what's up behind me. Is that like the granddaddy of all BD-5s? No, it's not a BD-5. That's the Lear fan. Bill Lear designed this in the early 70s. And what does it have in common with a BD-5? Tricycle retractable gear, enclosed cockpit, pusher design with the engine at the back, a V-tail like the original prototype BD-5 actually had. I guess uh, they told me the empty weight on this was about 4,000 pounds, so it was a pretty light design. It's a shame this didn't come to fruition. This flew in 1981. There were three built, but what a neat design this little puppy is. What if somebody took this design, made maybe a composite fuselage for it, maybe did some things with the wings that we've learned over the years, and went back into production? I think that might be pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my stay here and uh, see what else I can see. Oh, hey, there's something really goofy over there. Look at that. There's an aircraft that looks like a flying pancake. And what do you know? It is a flying pancake. Now, I just got told by one of the gentlemen that work here at the museum that this project was going along really well. This aircraft was uh, actually estimated to uh, be able to uh, exceed the speed of our best fighters by 100 miles an hour. And uh, Air Force told them that uh, if it doesn't have a jet engine, we're not interested. So they uh, scrapped most of them except for this one, I guess. And if I could have found a quarter-scale version of uh, this engine, Rolls-Royce Merlin, that put out, oh, maybe about 65, 70 horsepower and didn't weigh too much, that would have been a neat engine for the BD-5. And an assortment of uh, engines that are all a little too large to fit into a BD-5. But a lot of power, though. Oh, I found something that might work. And APUs have been tried before. Uh, I don't think successfully, but they've been tried before. I would call this a pretty impressive model of a B-17. That's a one-ninth scale. Very detailed. You could spend quite a bit of time at this museum just looking over the level of detail in this particular model. There's a panel with a little more room than the uh, BD-5's got. And quite a few more gauges than the BD-5 needs, but uh, this is, uh, I think, a T-38 simulator they've got here. And this, although it's about the size of a BD-5 fuselage, is a original link trainer. And it, too, has a panel quite a bit larger than an actual BD-5. Kind of interesting, though. And looking way up there, you can see a panel that might be just about the closest we're going to get to a BD-5 panel in here in this museum. This is the SR-71 simulator. I'm sure glad I don't have to wear that to fly the BD-5. I don't think I could get in or get out. Look at the size of the wing compared to the rest of that fuselage. I'll bet that thing handled a lot like a uh, BD-5A, the 12-foot wingspan. So if you're out in Dallas, that looks like an interesting sight to see. Yep, after a long uh, flight out here in dry throat, voice is a little bit on the crackly side. BD-5 pilot out for now.